So we're at the end of the second day of our discussions and decision making here at the Plenary Council after the Mass on Sunday evening at Mary McKillop Place uh, and then yesterday's discussions on Monday and today, Tuesday. Uh, so by, uh, by lunchtime today we had the results of the first round of voting which were uh, dealing with parts one and two. Part one, reconciliation with our Indigenous peoples uh, and part two, seeking to further our response uh, and healing and justice for uh, those who've been abused and who suffer trauma as a result of the abuse that's been uh, inflicted by, uh, by those in the church. And the process is, is unfolding well. It's a very full couple of days. Uh, the, uh, the days start early and they finish late. Um, and they're well structured, I think. There's really helpful ref space for within that for reflection and conversation on our small tables. So before in the afternoon we get into uh, in the open assembly uh, discussion and decision making around motions. In the morning we have a substantial period of time, uh, all of session two, to reflect together in a spiritual conversation about the motions and about possible amendments. Uh, and that's after in the first session of the day we've had input from uh, theological experts. And perhaps the highlights today I think for me have been that input from the theological experts, which you should be able to see on the website, I think, uh, which was focused on the two sections that we were considering then this afternoon uh, on the church's, uh, the church's mission, first of all, part three, and then on the equal dignity of women and men, part four. Uh, they were really tight, incisive, uh, inspiring, yeah, really a wonderful way to start the day. Uh, and the other highlight was coming to the conclusion of the voting process for the first two parts. So the amendments were decided by the whole assembly yesterday and then the uh, consultative votes uh, yesterday afternoon and the deliberative votes by the bishops this morning. And there were helpful amendments, helpful and constructive amendments added to the motions. And uh, all of the motions passed and not just passed, but with a really decisive majority. Uh, and I think that was a really uh, significant and uh, uh, in endorsement by the church as it's gathered here in Plenary Council uh, of just how important these two areas, reconciliation with the Indigenous people are and uh, healing and justice for those who've been abused. Uh, that these are critical things that we have to get right before we can go on, as we have today, with uh, considering what our mission is and how we live that out then in various aspects. So the Council's going well, there's a great feel amongst the members here, uh, and it's set uh, in the context very clearly and, uh, and enormously helpfully of prayerful reflection uh, and of very... Uh, very attentive reflection on the four years of, uh, of discernment and contribution from across Australia.